Trainer Ian Wilkes was just 24 when he first came to the United States to get his start in thoroughbred horse racing. A native of Australia, Wilkes grew up on a dairy farm in Surrey before he and his wife Tracy went to work for trainer Carl Nasker. She was my assistant trainer, Sharon Peters, and she said, there's a young couple who'd like to come over here and exercise, right? And I said, well, get them. And uh, they came over and they showed up one morning and it was Tracy and Ian. It was this position that proved to be the all-important break that he needed. A break that also earned him invaluable experience as the regular exercise rider for the legendary Unbridled. Unbridled is in tight in between horses. Here comes the Derby winner. Unbridled fights his way to the front and wins the Southern Raiders Cup Classic. Before long, the nature of Ian's position evolved from that of exercise rider to assistant trainer. In fact, it was Wilkes who served as NASCAR's aide throughout the 2007 campaign of Kentucky Derby winner Street Sense. And Street Sense has roared from 19th position to first in the Derby. And here is Street Sense, a stretch running sensation. Soon after, NASCAR began transferring control of his training operation to Ian. I started when I was 60, gradually moving more and more to him. And then by uh, 65, my age, I, at that time, I said, Ian, uh, we put on December the 31st, they were my horses. January 1st, there was his. At only 44 years of age, Wilkes now has a barn of his own. Last August, he sent out Captain Candyman Can to a win in the King's Bishop Stakes, the first grade one victory of his career. You know, that, the thing about that, you know, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I think I need to do that again. <laughs> a close runner-up in the Grade 3 Phoenix Stakes, Captain Candyman Canton closed powerfully into the final stages of the race. Captain Candyman coming, fatal bullet, takes the Phoenix by a half length. Captain Candyman Can will now point to the Breeders' Cup Sprint at Santa Anita, giving Wilkes the very first Breeders' Cup contender of his young training career. I've got to be fair to the horse and to the owners. I've got to give him a shot at the Breeders' Cup. Even though Wilkes is out on his own now, he and Carl have remained close to this day, giving Ian a place to turn for advice whenever it's needed. He's there. You know, like if I've got some questions, I can bounce them off him, you know. So that's a really added advantage for me. You have to look at it more like a father-son relationship, you know. Uh, you know, and I'm very grateful, you know, what, what he's done for him.